Hello mga kababayan, welcome to my channel Welcome to laruan ni Obi Wan For this afternoon's review or custom review We're going to take a look at two figures And actually we're not going to take parts from one And then somehow destroy or disregard the other one But we're going to swap parts and somehow build on the parts of each figure to come up with better figures so let's get on with the build so this is my custom king grace collection figure building on the base uh, masters of the universe revelation seaman action figure and the other um, motu origin seaman figure so uh, let's do a quick 360 of this figure so it has a red cape on it has um, sword storage on the back and axe and two um, gauntlets so looking at it right now i know that i could still do better so let's take the other figure that we have for this video so the figure that we have on hand right now is the McFarlane DC Multiverse um, Infected King Jazam. Um, somehow I'm just not a fan of this really wild um, outfit of his with this um, furry thing on his back and the brown cape. And somehow McFarlane still hasn't given us a Shazam figure so I wanted to build a custom Shazam figure so first thing that I want to do is to really utilize this cape for the other figure for my King Grayskull figure and once I got rid of these two actually I still don't know whether I'm going to just take off this portion over here of the cape and place this um, thing back on the figure as to plug on those holes so I won't be needing to um, utilize um, sealing putty to uh, seal those holes and that back hole but let's see so possibilities i could change hands i could change heads and um, change the cape to possibly a cloth cape or whatever material i have on hand right now and get rid of this loin cloth so just quick simple fix of uh, using a exacto knife and cutting off this portion possibly so let's see i really still can't tell whether um it's going to look good but that's the point of customization um it's an experiment work and let's see what we're going to come up with okay so we have our king grayskull figure back on frame so utilizing this actually this when you place it on top of the figure now this looks more like king grayskull so let's do a quick 360 first so let's put these other materials to the side so with this thing on the shoulders of the figure actually we lose weapon storage system because i've designed this cape to really ride low so i could still place the sword on the back of the figure that way but with this on i'm planning to utilize this on this figure actually we have um ample head articulation so articulation of the head is not a problem because of the way this head sculpt the hairline actually is molded so it really has free range of motion so head tilts looking up head tilts looking down not a problem side to side not a problem so this is an okay accessory for this and actually the collar matches the loincloth and the uh, boots and somehow the straps on the protective gauntlets so i'm still debating how to utilize this part but i automatically lose weapon storage on the back because 
that opening is covered but i have this from my gi joe classified series um cobra officer and somehow when i placed the sword on the sheath the rifle sheath for the uh, ak-47 somehow it looks good this way so now i'm thinking of taking out that cape or possibly drilling a hole on this portion and placing it that way or possibly utilizing this so it's going to be a match and taking this cape and placing it on this guy so surprise surprise what i'm going to do so i'm, I'm trying to um, get things sorted out but let's proceed with the video okay so i've detached the red cape off the back of this figure actually is just lightly glued on so if i could um, possibly change or put it back later it's just easy and somehow i tried to put it on this figure but the color palette actually is um, different so this is a brighter color while king jazam basically the body the hood and everything is darkly colored but somehow if you do that it uh, plugs the hole on the figure but we have a problem because we have an exposed um, hole on the back so this is a no-go so i was rummaging through my closet and found an old shirt somehow the cloth material is almost the same shade as king shazam so i made a really rough cut out of that old shirt and possibly let's try putting it on the figure so possibly that way and i'm thinking right now of reutilizing this actually just the hood so i'll be cutting off this portion over here possibly this portion and placing it back on the figure and using this as a mounting solution for the soft goods cape okay so i only have one chance of doing this if i'm going to ruin the cut actually i'm going to ruin the piece so i have to make a really nice exacto knife cut on this portion taking out just this portion wherein we have that um, peg for the back hole of king shazam so it's a go for the soft goods cape with this figure so yep we're going to make that cut and reattaching it to this portion over here so possibly the edges the remaining edges of this black cape um, i'm going to glue it on the side on over here and be gluing this portion to the um, harness of this um, action figure of this human action figure and what i'm going to do next is possibly just going to drill a hole utilizing that long of a peg so it's going to attach this way to this um, thick uh, rubbery plastic so i still have weapon storage of some sort so let's proceed okay so i've managed to cut the cape off from this piece so nice clean cut actually i'm just going to trim this portion that which is quite protruding from the back this way because this is going to attach to the figure that way over the head of course so that is going to be an unsightly piece which i have to trim down so that portion this portion actually and i'm going to attach the soft goods cape 
to this mounting solution that way maybe possibly super gluing it or uh, stick glue so let's see which material would make this cape um, sit well on this um, some type of hood and with the remaining piece actually these are the two mounts which um, attaches to those two um, points so if you super glue them back actually this way and then taking a look from the back actually it uh, really does not show that you made a really uh, radical cut on this piece and separated it from this um, shoulder harness and possibly we could already mount that to our King Grayskull figure so I think that's going to really look good and we're going to finally attach this point to possibly a point over here or possibly over there so whichever um, position that the sword scabbard is going to sit well on the back of the figure still has the cobra logo on it but actually it's really subdued so really does not matter what matters is look at that that's somehow a cool piece a knife a nice piece for a weapon retention device for my king grayskull figure so let's move on so ideas ideas options and options so finally the glue has settled in uh, joining these two pieces so from the front that's the image that we have of king grayskull my new version let's say the 3.0 version so i'm still debating whether i'm going to glue that sc uh, sword scabbard to the back or possibly just um, retain it that way that i have the capacity of taking this one out and placing it on the back of the figure anyway we already have a hole but actually it's not as visible on the back so i could have that option of having the power sword and scabbard of the figure but i want this figure to to have the axe so sword on the back axe on the hand with this look so um, as to how i'm going to glue this to the sh uh, shoulder armor or the body armor of some sort um, i'll have to make as much clearance as to the side so somehow this figure still has great um, head or head scalp movement or head articulation per se so possibly to the side over here or just make enough clearance that it's not going to hinder head articulation and still deciding whether to glue this in or not so let's see so instead of gluing the back side of the cloak to this edge over here somehow if i'm going to glue that in this um, piece this really wide piece is going to sit at an angle but if it's not glued to this piece actually if these are just the two connecting points somehow it's going to rest well on the back of the figure so just point of comparison so i think i'll just leave that floating okay so presenting i think this is the final journey of this figure to attaining the final or alternate look for a king grayskull figure 
So, use it, utilizing the parts of the King Shazam infected figure, the cape primarily that was my target, and the DC Multiverse figure that I used um, actually was on sale at Amazon. So, really great opportunity. I grabbed it and it was just shipped this morning. So, I took it apart and made this video. So, uh, stay tuned for the other video which I also would be posting, I think, Sunday or Monday. Uh, so, we'll just finish this uh, part. So, we're going to present, I'm going to present this in the photos and the video shots so we could enjoy the final build. And if you could, uh, if you're also decided to go this route, then this is the video, your option. Okay, so King Jazam, the uh, King Grayskull, I mean, and let's put in his successor, Adam. So Shaza, uh, King Grayskull, um, Adam, both of them, he man. So if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and see you. In the next action figure review.